Alrighty then, folks. Hello there, and welcome to Journey to Jabro. So, there's some good news and some bad news. The bad news being that I lost the recording to Mission 5, or Episode 5, which was... No, eh, ignore that. Which was the final mission, because this game skips Jabro. Um, and before anyone gets mad because I say I lost it, it's not that I lost it, it's that the footage is unusable, being that it only, for some reason, recorded the bottom right corner. And it didn't even, like, record, like, a bottom left quadrant, it just recorded, like, a weird L. Like, 120 pixels of an L in both directions, which... It wasn't even square. I, I don't know what went on, and the audio sounds like I was underwater. It's something to do with when you switch recording methods, or, uh, display methods on PCSX. Yeah, so I lost the footage for that, so I had to go and pull back a save from about the end of April? So, like, about a month ago. But we're on the final mission again, so it should be interesting. I also lost the footage I had from extra mode, but we'll, we'll get to that again. It'll be fine. Actually, if I, I'm pretty sure I can still use that. I'll just have to replay it. Or maybe if I load up my old save, I, I don't know. Anyway, I have Shadow Protect running on this, so I have backups. But, that means we have to redo the whole 8th mission, which is really long. It's like three separate stages all compressed into one. Though this game apparently completely avoids, uh, extra mo or not extra mode, uh, Odessa, weirdly enough. Like, we don't fight in Odessa at all. But anyway, let's go. It's water! Although we had fallen under enemy attack after departing Belfast, we ultimately managed to arrive at Jaburo, Federation Forces General Headquarters. Our journey was over. Or so we thought. Our stopover was about to meet an abrupt end. Mad Angler classes, or Lockheed classes, depending on who's using them. I'm pretty sure that is a Zaku one with Gauch spikes. I mean, why not? They needed mobile suits. Yeah, so we gotta fight them mad anglers. Which includes a Zok fight, which really fucked me up the first time, because... We're being supplied with another gun cannon. It should be fully operational. Hayato and Kai, you're both going out in gun cannons to guard the armored hatch in B block. Enemy troops have already been dropped. Prevent them from getting inside. Yes, sir. Amuro will take Gundam and intercept the enemy task force that's infiltrated here. Don't let the enemy get into the spaceship dock. The base defense team's mass produced gym mobile suits have been deployed too. God damn it. But we have a lot more experience with mobile suit warfare. Help them out as much as possible. Yes, sir. Launch as soon as you're ready. From right. Bow, Mirai, assemble the information from GHQ on the double. Yes, sir. They're GMs, not gems, but watch literally any of Crossfire and you'll probably hear me bitch about that enough. Yeah, so I really like this map. Like, it's really well done. Tragedy in Jaburo. But it's super long and... Fighting Char and then the Zok is a massive pain in the ass. But oh well. Gun cannon! Hayato launching! I can't sit around anymore and watch innocent people suffer. I'm gonna crush the Zeons! Amuro here, Gundam launching. Ikimas. Some of the enemy troops that dropped are coming in through the hatch. Try to stop them. Alright, so basically we have white base and some allies and stuff back here, but we can't actually go this far back. So it's and then these are some gun cannons, they just kinda sit there and don't do much. But the enemy will start coming down this way, which is kind of like this weird angled hatch, you'll see it in a second. 
I'm pretty sure these allies are type 61 tanks. Or actually, no, it's the opposite way. Uh, white base is back here and we can't go very far, but the gun cannon just kind of stand there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a type 61 tank and the enemies will come down here. After we're finished with this, however, we move over to the secondary field, which is, well, we can't get there on the map so far, but there's like this open area in the back, which is pretty cool. But so I didn't know about this before, but there's actually a heavy attack you can do by holding square. If you'll notice right before the right on top of the two gun cannons on the right, we have five shots of it. It can, uh, with one additional shot, we can actually one shot him. The only downside is that you can't really aim it. So yeah, it's that. Yeah, if we can, we want to avoid getting hit. Just because there's a lot of damage we're going to be taking in this stage. And it's... Char's a massive douchebag. Oh, I shouldn't have hit... Yeah, you always shoot where you're aiming, so unless they're running straight at you, it's really hard to hit the enemy. God damn it. The Zaku, please. Thank you. Yeah. Crackers you actually kind of have to look out for in this stage. Oh, did I not use the heavy shot on that guy? Oh. God damn it. Oh, and uh, I kind of figured it out in the last episode that you guys didn't see. Uh, Zaku's have about five seconds of invincibility frames after getting hit. I actually got hit by that too, by the way. Oh my god. Quit throwing grenades, you asshole. I really want to melee this guy, but it's not going to happen. Uh, we took way too much damage there, so I got to try to not take any damage in the next one. Yeah, there's a bunch of commands where... Hey, it's this scene. So just so you know, in the original, he was actually using a Gundam-style uh, beam rifle. Red mobile suit. Could that mean Char's in it? Nah, yeah, it's more pink, but. It's gotta be. It's him. He's come back to fight us. Yeah, that was actually a Gundam-style beam rifle in the original one, which is how he's able to shoot so much like that. Uh, the beam spray gun's more of a close-range shotgun kind of thing. It has a useful range of, I think, 30 meters, but it can do a ton of damage if you're close enough. Like, it can shoot through uh, Dom's armor, which Dom's are, like, twice as thick as Azaku for the most part. So, yeah, they have uh, a Zigok here. Or, no, that's actually an guy, Azaku. And then after we killed those guys, uh, I believe Char spawns over here and completely ignores these guys and just runs around them because they're, like, built-in guns. Oh, also, um, all these videos already got claimed, so I don't really give a shit, but I am about to get claimed for this as well. That's fine. I really don't care. Come on, Zaku, please.
Yeah, that GM is actually our ally in this one, so we got to be a little bit careful, but I don't really care. See, look how much damage that GM took. It's almost dead. Yeah, I think this is the Zigok, or is this another act guy? Um, that's another Zaku, never mind. Um, there's a act guy I got into a knife fight with, which I really thought I was gonna lose, but it was my actually it was actually my successful run. Cause I somehow fought the Zok without really taking any damage, which was exciting. But we basically like started poking each other for 15 minutes. It was fun. Yeah. So Char will appear in the back again. But yeah, see, like, they just completely ignore these guys. Damn you! I am actually taking too many hits in this one. Ha! Every freaking time. And if you're wondering, I still don't know how to melee. It it, it eludes me. I like glitched into the wall there. That was cool. Oh, no, that is our ally, as I would say. There's another GM here? I had no idea. Also, there's two guys over here. Azaku, another act guy. And... Char. You know, that that's the Zgok S. Those are really dangerous in this game. Alright, I think we'll go after this Zaku first. I know our ally is going... Actually... You know what, our ally's going after Char. I'm gonna let him engage Char and then I'm gonna ambush Char. Yeah. Crap. Yep. <sighs> Alright, that might have been a bad idea since this Zaku's trying to attack us now. You gotta be careful though because Char basically always does the double laser thing and it does a ton of damage. Come on, just die, Zaku. And Char has no qualms with shooting you close up with, with a beam rifle. Kind of like how I beat him that first time. Crap. Come on. You would. Fine. Yeah, I'm dead.
Dead. Yeah, okay. <sighs> Are my balancers malfunctioning? I think it's more of a time thing than a damage thing. This pilot, he actually poses a challenge to me. Who in the world is he? I'm not getting away. Yeah, I don't think these guys actually shoot back. Give me like 10 seconds. I'm getting my heavy shots back. Seriously, will you die? It should not take this many beam rifle shots. It should take one. Oh, that is Char. Yeah. Uh, I was just standing there thinking it was the same guy as before. Captain Char, the drop forces have been nearly wiped out. I'll handle things here. Please, Captain, you've got to withdraw. There doesn't seem to be much of a choice. That's supposed to be Big Nose Akihara piloting the Zok, but it's the same voice actor as... It's the same voice actor as McCuve in the English dub. Crap. Let's do this again. Sad fact is, is we have to start from the beginning, sadly. Tragedy in Jaburo. Come on, load. You're not you're on an M.2. I know it's only artificial, but still. You have like six times the normal rewrite speed that you should. Uh-huh. Hopefully it'll turn out a little bit better this time. I'd rather not Hayato just because you don't have a very good track record. Hit hit you with my heavy shot. Ah. <sighs> All right, fun. Come on, target the other guy who's right. Right, really, I forgot. It's stupid. It fires straight from where your character model is facing, not from where you're aiming, which is kind of disconcerting, but oh well.
God damn it, Hayato. Yeah, I already took too much damage, but meh. Hopefully we can uh, not take as much damage this time. Yeah, we're just going to skip that though. Okay, cool. So, we're gonna go after these guys, and then I'm gonna go straight for Char once he spawns. Hopefully I won't take too much damage against Char, but you never know. Because the GM has more health in this one. In the last one, he kind of got wrecked. But he should be fine now. That was actually really good for taking out my cover, which is one of the main uses of cracker grenades besides, you know, taking out Type 61 tanks. They're basically cluster munition grenades. Super useful. Um, oh, are there two Zakus here? I thought there were only one. Yeah. Huh. It's kind of surprising we haven't fought any Doms or any Gaufs yet. Yeah, you didn't need that freeway anyway, did you? And it'll be fine. And this is incredibly stupid, but I need to reload, so. So yeah, we're now heading for Char, who should be over there. Crap! I wasn't expecting to hit me while I was up in the air. And if you're wondering why sometimes I just ah, sidestep a little bit, it's because the reaction on this controller isn't very good. Or I just like slightly turn to the side instead of sidestepping because the reaction kind of sucks. Can you stop dodging, you asshole? 
This is getting annoying. <sighs> hey, I have more than I did before. That's good enough for me. You're not getting away. <sighs> and I still have a shield. Zock, please, you know, the, or Ziga, that guy. One of those aquatic mobile suits, you know, the one right in front of me, instead of the guy who's in the distance. I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know why that worked, but it did. Then again, they're not really... Oh, this one actually attacked me back. Oh, I didn't know they were doing that. Come on. Oh, please sidestep. You know what, you piece of shit? This is getting really annoying. There honestly is a reason why, you know, most PS2 games have moved over to an analog stick. This is ridiculous. And I cannot for the life of me figure out melee. Just like you swing sometimes, sometimes you don't. Come on, camera. Yeah, I know, but I don't think the Gundam was designed to be stuck in walls, which it was. Wow, I, I'm pretty sure those beams went over my head.
Alright, let's, let's try it again this time. I really don't want to just grab the ending and, you know, post it over a black screen, but I might if I have to. Come on, lock on, please. Yeah, shut up, Kai. About six. And then... Well, in actual job row, there's anywhere from about 75 to 150, which at the time was a significant portion of the Zionic military. In Origins, this changes to about 5,000 or something ridiculous like that. And it's not that much because, you know, they have like 20 times that at least. But at this point, it was a pretty major assault. Like it was three fully loaded GAUs, uh, those... Mad Angler slash Lockheed classes, which those things can carry anywhere from six to eight mobile suits on their own. Like, it was a lot. God damn it. You freaking kidding me? I hate that. It's just like, no, nah, it doesn't matter where you're actually looking. They're just going to pick where your model is. Get out of my way, hi. Uh, was that Kai? That might have been Kai. Get out of my way, hi. So we're letting the GM tank those guys while we just provide covering fire because that works way too well. I don't know if the, or I don't know how much invincibility the at guy gets, so I'm kind of hesitant to just you know blind fire off. I really should figure it out, but I realize that I'm never gonna need it, so. Isn't there another Zaku there? Or is he not spawned yet? He hasn't spawned yet. Ah, damn it. So that Zaku just didn't spawn this time? Ah, 
Uh, I'm seeing if that GM's just gonna stand there in the corner, or it's actually gonna try to fight Char. And the answer is no, he's just gonna stand there in the corner. Yeah, because Char fires so much faster than I can possibly. You're not getting away, slams head on the roof. Good to know they'll actually shoot back at me. I thought they were just, you know, standing there. That's why I was unloading on him with head Vulcans. I didn't actually think it would work. Just for the record. Come on, can you just die? Look at Char in the distance. That's funny. Uh, if you guys didn't see, he's jumping to the left and right every time I fire. Alright, he doesn't deal with head Vulcans, but I was about to say. My accuracy for this one's gonna look horrible, but I was having fun. I don't remember Big Nose being that much in love with Char, but he might have been, and I just don't remember. Come on. Is there anyone else here? Go hit me.
Um, thank God. Holy shit, I didn't know that that guy was there. <laughs> Good job. You better return to the white base now. Roger. Boo. I get the feeling your abilities are unusual. Yes, just like Shar, the Red Comet. Really? Who is this Shar person again? Oh, by the way, that's complete bullshit. I did not get an A on that. Life remaining 3%. And my accuracy was definitely not 88%. That's bullshit. Solid B. Way better than what I scored in actual school. So that's what you've been planning all along? You want the white base to specialize in decoy operations? Char said, his eyes full. Falling lovingly on the Federation cancel. Ah, it is you. My brother Casfall was such a nice person. Who's in charge here? The name's Lieutenant Slager Law, and I've just been transferred to the White Base. Uh -huh. Talk about good luck. I happen to get assigned to the same ship as someone as good looking as you. <sighs> Mirai Yashima's the name. Pleasure. <laughs> Skies are clear. White base permission to ascend. Points for creepy slugger. Why are the children still here? Look over to port side if you have a minute and you'll be able to see a flock of flamingos. That'd be great on video. Well, go ahead and tape it. The Xeon's drop operation on Jaburo ended in failure. Judging from the outcome of this battle, the Federation forces on the Earth were looking ever more victorious. The Federation's main forces would lift off from Jaburo into space to fight the final stage of this war. The White Base, dubbed the 13th Autonomous Corps, would fly ahead of the fleet to serve as a decoy. UC 0079, December 2nd. The fighting has been fierce, and it will continue to grow more intense. For approximately 26 days. Then it'll get really bad and then end suddenly. But anyway, folks, that was Journey to Jowbrow. The game where the controls kind of sucked, and it was all right. I know a lot of people love extra mode, but that campaign was kind of bullshit. I'm mainly just saying this after trying that last mission like five times. Texture work was really good, though, especially for PS2 era. And the, can uh, the controls are never explained anywhere, even in the tutorial, like... I had no idea you could just hold square to do a power attack the whole time. Um, that being said, I I have purchased uh, Lost War Chronicles, which is the uh, sequel to this game, air quotes. There's no real story to it, but it's basically all of extra mode. The only downside is it's only in Japanese because it was never translated to English, mainly because it's basically the same as expert mode in this one, just slight bit different. So I'm... I plan on playing it, but I didn't have a copy of it because I played it at one time a long time ago. I absolutely hated it, and then, you know, it burned and it got burned in a fire that I had a couple of years back. But I just picked up another copy of it, so it should be fun. Um, I do plan on playing some extra mode, just because I want the chance to hit on uh, Christina, because I'm told that's a thing. And also, there's a cool Blue Destiny scenario, which I want to try. But I'll also play some Lost War Chronicles, but I don't think I'll complete Lost War Chronicles. And after that, I don't know. 
I'm thinking either Zionic Front or uh, Encounters in Space next. Well, after Lost War Chronicles, I should say. I might do Zionic Front and then Encounters in Space, just so I'm not doing, you know, the same thing in a row. Hey, Brad Swaley. That's the only name I recognize, and that's because he plays Amaro. There is no way for mankind to last forever except by living under the control of Zeon's chosen superior race. We must teach the slow witted people of the Federation a lesson. One they will never forget. This is the hour for mankind to stand up for the future. Hail Zeon! Hail Zeon! Hey, Gale Googs. forces and the principality of Zeon erupted into an explosive battle. Amid this conflict, humankind was on the verge of witnessing a momentous change in itself. Captain, don't do it! Lala! Lala! People are changing. They're becoming like us. Yeah, I guess so. You're right, Lala. Oh, Amuro. Um, I can see time itself. Will humanity evolve into the new type? Within the flashes of light, the labor pains of humankind's transformation continues. You won't get away, sir! The question is, who will survive? Both Amro and Char. But anyway, folks, that was that. If you liked the episode, you should like. If you didn't, you should dislike. We'll be back for more soon.